Hello, this is RV Few doing my next video on my PlayStation 2 collection. And I might have to split this video into two parts on its own. Because I'm just doing the letter S. But you can see I have a lot of games with the letter S. And there's some great games I want to talk about. So, yeah. First is Scarface. This game is really fun. I bought it for £4 at CEX a few years ago. And it's just like a GTA style free roam game where you buy and sell drugs. And yeah, it basically takes place after the movie. Like, as in, imagine the movie Scarface, but at the end Scarface didn't die. Yeah, it continues like that. And this game's just really fun. So, now it's complete. And it's just a little dope. And I really like Scarface, the movie. Next we have Scooby Doo, Night of a Hundred Fights. I had this game when I was really young and then I traded it to game when I was for, when the PS3 came out. And then I rebought it a couple weeks, like three weeks ago. Because I really wanted to play this game because I remember when I was younger it was a fun game, really fun. But it's quite dark though, like, it just feels more, I don't know, it feels really creepy for a Scooby Doo game. And this was £2 at CEO. And yeah, I've played it for a good majority, I've done like... I think it said I've done like 35% of the game already. And yeah, it's re it's quite a fun game. There's a lot of missable stuff though. It's quite hard for young children to play. And that is complete. And this gives me... Next we have Scrabble. Never really played this. My dad loved Scrabble and I think he played it. And the PlayStation 2 was new. And yeah, I don't mind playing Scrabble, but I'd rather play it in real life. That is complete. And this is mint. And then now, next one of my favourite game experiences of all time Silent Hill 2. This game is amazing. I'm not going to go too deep into it, but that's all I can really say. I mean, just the story. I mean, there's still some bits I I have played through this game. Right, I've done the whole game once, and then I've replayed certain bits, and I've done the ending like three times, and I've even watched reviews and walkthroughs. Because trust me, there are a lot of bits in this game where you just get stuck like puzzles, and I have to look up a walkthrough to help me. I'd really try and figure out the puzzle, but I really couldn't do it. And um, yeah, and I still don't understand the ending 100 percent. So, yeah, but this game is just amazing. I mean, the characters, the whole, just everything. And yeah, it comes in a sleeve, which is really cool. It sticks out quite a bit compared to other games. Like, it actually comes out more, it's longer. And you can see there's a sticker, it's £14 pre owned. But, uh, I bought this on eBay and won it in an auction for like a 5 or £6, which I thought was really cheap. It is in bad condition, but I'm not bothered. And it kind of adds to the feel a bit, of it being like a scary game. And then there's the back. And it says they're uh, normally £45, sale price £25, so... Yeah. And then this slides out. Like that. And then this opens up. And sadly it's missing the manual that would be here. But it's got the both discs, so luckily. And then here's the game, and then here's uh, this shows you how the game was made and stuff like that. And then this is the game disc, as it says PlayStation 2. And that is mint. And then the bonus disc is also mint. So, uh, yeah. Wait, which one does this fold? Yeah, I really want to get uh, Resident Evil 4, because Silent Hill 2 and Resident Evil 4 are kind of like rivals. And I want to complete Resident Evil 4 and then see which one I prefer. But yeah, just awesome game, pick it up. Really creepy at times, but yeah. Then another great game, Silent Hill 3. Having completed this game, I've probably completed a quarter of the game. I just got stuck really bad and I haven't looked up a walkthrough. I will one day though. Uh, 
Final three surprises is 15. This game is really scary. It's a lot more scary than the second one. It's a lot more darker. And this one just takes madness on a whole new level. So, and this one's really good as well. And that's complete. And I, if anyone could tell me what that is on the manual, I really, I have no idea what that is supposed to be. And the manual is quite cool because it has a at the back. I if I remember, it has like. Yeah, it tells you all about the character. Like, it has a bio on each character in the game. Well, three characters, but, you know. Stuff worth. Cool. And I bought this on eBay as well. Uh, a few more weeks later than Sinal 2. For, like, five or six pounds again. And the disc's just a bit better. Yeah, this one's really good as well, though. But Sinal 2, I definitely prefer. And then this one. Sonic Hill 4. This one, I'm I'm not 100% on it. I mean, it originally was a different game. It, I think it was it was just a game going to be called The Room. But then they decided to just name it a Sonic Hill game. But I'll tell you what, I actually really like this one in a way. I like how it takes a different step approach. And I actually think it's a really good one. And it's a bit more easy than the previous Sonic Hills, is so the puzzles aren't too difficult. And um yeah I, I actually like this one a bit. I actually like this one because it's simple. Well, it's not simple but it's a bit easier. And I've been playing this I've probably done a maybe one third of the story in this. And that is complete. And it came with a poster as well which I hung on my wall. And a disc you meant. And same situation, I bought this on eBay for about five or six pounds. Yeah, this is another really good one. And I also had Silent Hill on the PC, which I 100% completed. I downloaded it, and like, I had a PlayStation 1 emulator thing. And I, I remember coming home after school and playing it, and it was really difficult. And yeah, that one's great as well. Next, we have Seek and Destroy. Another Play It game. You know, the cheap games like Cell Damage. But which has a good one. And then you got a like, Casino Challenge and... Uh, what was the other one? Road Trip. But this is actually quite a good one. I always remember you... I think it was when you unlocked all the other tanks or something. You got a tank with wings that could fly around. Sounds stupid, but it was actually quite fun. And now it's complete. Disc is mint. Trying to get these threes quickly because I'm already like eight minutes in. Next, we have another great franchise, Sly Raccoon, or the Slies. The first one's really good. You just play as Sly, and these are amazing games as well for any ages. And there's not really much to say about it. I mean, it's just a really it's a stealth kind of childish game. But yeah, with laser beams and lots of jumping and that. And that is complete. And this game's quite expensive. It runs for like seven, eight pounds. And that is mint. Next we have Sly Two. This one is probably my favourite out of the three, I think, from what I remember, because you could play as all three. And he goes missing at one point. And yeah. This one's just a bigger, better improvement over the first one. And that is complete. And the disc is a bit dry. And this runs for like five pounds as well. And then slide three, which I think is quite rare because barely anyone has this. And this one's quite expensive. This one's, I guess, in a way bigger, even bigger, and a better improvement over the second one because there's lots of storylines with other characters. Like if you look on the manual, these are all the different characters you meet in the game. So, uh, yeah. And that is complete, obviously. And the disc is a bit dull. And they come up with new things like the uh, disguises, which I thought was actually really cool. This might be the best one, actually. And it had two player mini games. Next, we have SOCOM. Never played this, I think it's online only, so. It looks quite fun, though. It looks like a good PlayStation 2 game. Like, shooter for the time. That is complete and it's one of those horrible and this is a really thin one. Like super thin. 
disc is a bit done. Next we have a good one if you like the old games like Complexion, you know, Space Invaders Anniversary. Just got loads of different uh, Space Invaders tables and you've got the 3D one and it's just it's really good. If you love Space Invaders and you need to buy this and the shiny Space Invader things are really cool. And that is complete. And this game's quite cheap as well. Just a bit dirty. Next we have another great game in my opinion. We have Space Invaders Invasion Day. It's like a remake of Space Invaders, but honestly it's not bad. You still run side to side, but you're just a human being, like running side to side. And there's enemies that come at you. But it's really good because there's boss battles and everything. But it's quite short though, that's the only downside. And I did have this game when I was younger, but I lost the disc. And I rebought just the disc for like £2.50. And it's complete. And the disc came in. Yeah, when I was younger, I had three games, but I lost, I lost the discs. And they were Need for Speed, Underground, Space Invaders, Major Day, and Godzilla Save the Earth. Next, we have Space Race. Fun racing game when I was younger. Might play it again one day. And that is complete. And the disc is a bit dirty. I'm really trying to speed this video up. Got SpongeBob SquarePants, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. A uh, good SpongeBob game, in my opinion. It's very fun. I bought this recently for one pound fifty because I had it when I was younger, but traded it into game when the PlayStation Three came out. And uh, yes, a very basic, simple one. And that is complete. And the disc is a bit dirty. And then we have another SpongeBob game. Spongebob Battle of Bikini Bomb. This game's really fun, probably my favourite Spongebob game. But then there's one point in it where it just gets ridiculously hard and you basically have to collect golden spatulas and there's a point when it asks for 75 and it's impossible. So until you get it's really good until you get up to that point and then it's just boring or hard. And that is complete. And this is just a bit dirty, got a smear all around it. Next we have Spongebob the movie, which is basically Battle of Bikini Bomb, but following events of the movie, and you don't have to collect on spatulas, so it's basically an easier version. It's basically Battle of Bikini Bomb, but without the collectibles. And this one's another great one as well. And that is complete. And this is mint. And I remember because I bought this and I got a soft toy of it, a soft Spongebob toy as well. Sorry about that, my... Uh Memory just ran out and I had to delete some other stuff on the first so I could get some more room. So next is SpongeBob SquarePants Creature from the Krusty Krab. Uh, this is quite a new SpongeBob game, as it's got the universal rate instead of like 3 plus. And it feels very um, kind of cartoony, modern. But this is quite a fun game. From what I remember, it was quite short though. And uh, yeah. No, it's complete. And this is just a bit dirty. My, I don't know which is my favourite Spongebob game. But they're all great. And I want to maybe get some more Spongebobs. Next is SSX3. Uh, tricky. Pattern and Mun. I don't think I've ever, ever played this. But I do like snowboarding games. So, uh, yeah. No, it's complete. And the disc is mint. And then we have SSX3, which I did play when I was younger. And this is a very fun game. It was just... I don't know. It was just really fun. Now it's complete. And the disc is just a bit dirty. And then we have two more games to go. We have... Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I think I played this quite a bit when I was younger, but I don't remember it hugely, but... Yeah, I love Star Wars, so... That is complete. And this gives me... And the last game which I bought uh, a few months ago... That case doesn't even shut. We have State of Emergency. 
and it's sticker, not to be sold under 18s, and it's Rockstar. And this game is one of those games where you play it at first and you're like, wow, this is amazing. And then after playing it for quite a while, it gets boring. It's basically, you are just put, you can select a fighter, and you are put in the middle of a riot, where it'd it be, be a mall, on the streets, wherever. And you just got to cause, you get points for causing chaos, and there'll be people you do jobs for, like, uh, there'll be a guy at a stand, and he'll want you to hit on someone or smash someone's shop's windows in, and then you'll do that, and then he'll give you points for money. So, yeah. The graphics not that great. I mean, they kind of look like PS1 graphics, but they are a bit clearer. But they're... I think they're quite poor for the PS2, but... And I bought this for just 50p. And the disc is... And it's just incomplete. And then the disc is mint. But this is a good game, don't get me wrong. And yeah, that's all the videos for... That's all the games for this video. I have a lot of games starting with S, so yeah. So thanks for watching.